How to be a better public speaker. There's something about public speaking that's both exciting and terrifying. On the one hand, public speaking helps you connect with a lot of new people, your audience, and other speakers. It's a fantastic way to network, to meet a potential client, a business partner, or even a long-lasting friendship. It's rewarding, it helps to boost your self-esteem, cement your brand, and build public image. On the other hand, standing up in front of hundreds of people is scary. For most of us, public speaking is something we actively avoid at all costs. Standing in front of people, trying to remember what's on the slide behind you, wondering if you're boring the entire audience, there's a reason public speaking is a common nightmare. Especially for freelancers and consultants, however, the pros are simply far too important to let these cons stop you. Which raises a question, how can you leave behind the fears that cripple so many people and reap the many benefits of public speaking? How can you finally become the confident, charismatic public speaker you've always wanted to be? Editors note, this article was originally written by Ivan Kramer but has since been updated by Perry Capernaros, our expert staff writer who is highly experienced in research and investigative academia. How public speaking can help your freelance or consulting business One of the most common challenges freelancers and consultants face is instability in their workflow. There are weeks in which you've got more business than you can handle, and then there are weeks where your main task is to reload your email inbox, hoping to get a new email from a lead. That's when you realize you need to ramp up your marketing to get a more consistent pipeline of new leads and stop this emotional roller coaster. When you think about marketing tactics, you think about SEO, paid ads, and content marketing. But why not public speaking? When you give a public speech, you're immediately seen as an authority, a crucial trait for any consultancy. Not only that, you have the full attention of dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of potential leads, often for long stretches of time. You can't say the same for most online marketing tactics. What's more, you get to connect with a large range of business people, many of whom represent untapped growth opportunities for your business. Public speaking, it turns out, is one of the best tactics for growing a freelance or consulting business. Sure, it won't be a quick or easy tactic. As you will see, fear of public speaking and a lack of understanding of how to present information to an audience can stop many people from even trying it. But if you learn to overcome such fears and develop your speaking skills, you'll grow your business in ways you'd have never expected. How to overcome the fear of public speaking Fear of public speaking is one of the most commonly held phobias. What if people don't like your talk? What if they don't like you? What if you freeze? What if you panic? What if you say something wrong? A lot of talks these days are being hosted remotely, which does take the edge off speaking in person, but still strikes fear into the hearts of many. It's believed that a fear of public speaking is actually the fear of failure. Sure, the logistics of talking in front of an audience are intimidating, but really, we're afraid of doing a bad job and of people thinking poorly of us as a result. To overcome this, here are three tips you can use. 1. Accept the fear Let's be honest with ourselves. You will feel fear. We all do. Humans are predisposed to fear of being ridiculed, and speaking in public increases your social vulnerability in an extreme way. Your mind doesn't like it when you're vulnerable, so it panics. Even if you have the most beautiful presentation, or you're unveiling Nobel Prize-worthy research, even if you know your speech like the back of your hand, you will always feel butterflies in your stomach before a talk. Whatever solutions you use to lower that fear, counseling, coaching, meditation, or even medication, you will always feel some fear before giving a talk. Accept it. The key, as Franklin D. Roosevelt said, is to remember that courage is not the absence of fear, but rather the assessment that something else is more important than fear. 2. Practice to give a successful talk, one where you are eloquent, engaging, and interesting, you need to be prepared. This requires you to practice a lot. There's nothing worse than watching a speaker who's clearly not prepared for a talk. The ideas may be fine, but the thoughts don't flow. That's because the speaker focused too much on the ideas and not on the execution. The speaker forgot to practice. Before you can practice your talk, however, you need to have it prepared weeks in advance. Take the time to define the topic, the structure, and the slides so you can then practice it for as long as you can. 
Practice will help you gain the confidence you need to give a wonderful talk without any hiccups. What's more, it will expose any problems you may have with your presentation. You can practice your talk in front of a mirror, with your friends and family, anyone. Set up your phone and record yourself doing the speech over and over again in the days leading up to the real thing. You'll be able to pick up on twitches, awkward pauses when you're going too fast or too slow, or if you rely on the slides too much. What matters is that you practice as much as possible. 3. Get a coach A speaking coach can give you valuable feedback that you'd not get otherwise. While a coach is an obvious solution when you are planning on becoming a professional speaker, they can still help you when you're just starting out. What's more, a coach can give you inside tips from the trenches that would take you a long time to discover on your own. Mastering the art of public speaking Public speaking is more of an art than a science, but there are still steps you can take to develop your skills and your career. Step 1. Know your goal If you have ever read anything from Founder, you know we go big on the idea of finding purpose in anything you do. The reason for that is, when you know why you want to do something, everything else becomes easier and clearer. The fear of public speaking can be daunting, but if you have a goal that's bigger than your fear, your fear won't stop you from speaking. The ultimate goal refers to the final result that speaking in public would bring you. Do you want to generate leads for your consulting business? Do you want to become a paid speaker and live off your gigs? Do you want to help the world and spread your message? Not only will knowing your goal give you a level of clarity unlike anything else, but it will also make your pitches and your presentations much more aligned with your goals. For example, consider what you set to gain from your public speech. Aside from the money, consider that it may be a great opportunity for networking and lead generating reasons. This is because as you generally get to know other influential speakers, which gives you access to business opportunities few people would get. Get this ultimate goal defined before you even choose or agree to an event. Step 2. Define a set of speaking topics before you even begin to research potential speaking opportunities, you have to have a set of topics you're interested in speaking about. Most likely than not, you already have an idea of them, you only need to have them written down. If you're in doubt about your speaking topics, you simply need to pick one that fits the following criteria. You're passionate about or experienced at the topic at hand you can naturally speak about it in an engaging way the first relates to the idea that people who give speeches know what they're speaking about. Just as you don't see random people giving talks at TED events, you won't get any meaningful speaking opportunities if you can't show some proof to the event organizer that you know the subject of your speech. The second criteria mean you must give your speech in a way that's entertaining for the audience. While a speaking gig isn't the same as stand-up comedy, you always want to add a fun tone to your speech. What's more, you need to explain things in a clear way so your audience not only learns something new, but they get intrigued about what you talk about. If you're an expert, or at least, you're passionate about your speaking subject, you will know what aspects of your speech will interest your audience more than anything. Step 3. Start talking at small events When you're getting started, you want to start with small events. You'll progressively develop your skills, gain confidence, and find your own unique voice. One way is to go to meetup.com and look for events that are about a topic you've selected. Let's say you want to speak about writing to see if you can drum up some more clients. By simply searching your topic, you can get a long list of events happening soon for which you can apply.